How's it going everybody? Jared back again and in this video I wanted to show you guys a ROM that I've been testing out for a while now called Slim Bean version 3. Um, now obviously at the time of this recording, you guys are watching this a year from now, it could be Slim, Slim Bean version 6 and there's a bunch of different uh, features and whatnot. But anyways, the reason why I wanted to take a look at this one for a most of you out there is because this is actually supported by many many different devices or I should say many many different devices are supported by this ROM such as a bunch of different Nexus devices, Galaxy S3 variants, the Note 2, the Note 1, HTC One X, One X Plus, blah 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 blah. There'll be a link in the description below to their website so you can go and check out all of the supported uh, devices as well as all the respective download links for the things that you'll need. Um, regular you know clock, clockwork mod, recovery flash, just all your, your standard flashing procedures. Uh, but anyways this is a really neat ROM. It's only about 140, 150 megs in size, so quite light on the toes. Uh, you'll notice right from the lock screen here, we've got this cool carousel effect here with all the different widgets. Obviously, there's a bunch of different widget options, such as unlimited widgets and, you know, add all the widgets that are available for any particular application. Uh, all kinds of great stuff. Go ahead and just long press on the lock button there and brings you right into it. Uh, also, you'll notice that we can drag down the notification bar and although we have some notifications here, instead of having to continuously click on over to our quick settings, if we were to clear those notifications out, bring it back down again, right into our quick settings. This particular quick settings option is actually cherry picked from the codename Android. Um, so that's pretty cool. Now with that said, this actually this ROM is actually based off of CyanogenMod 10.1, so a CM based ROM. So you know it's quite stable, it performs really well, it's got satisfactory, better than satisfactory battery performance, at least in my experiences, and I've used it quite a bit recently, uh, at least for the past couple of weeks. Now you'll notice with that said, we've got some standard options that you'll notice that you're probably familiar with with Cyanogen Mod, such as profiles, quiet hours, themes, performance, obviously the built-in and integrated super user. Uh, but we also have something neat called the Real Dark Slim. Now if I was to go ahead and hit that toggle, it actually converts the entire system into like kind of the old school AOSP look uh, with that sort of like bluish grayish background. And of course we go ahead and click it again and it turns everything black. And that's actually shown throughout the entire UI of the particular ROM that we're running today. Uh, but the real fun begins when we jump into interface. A uh, bunch of different cool features in here, jump into display, uh, CRT off and on animation obviously, but instead of just going um, you know, sideways, you can actually do up and down. Uh, so that's kind of neat, so it kind of closes in like that instead of just like that. Um, brightness controls, notification lights, you can customize all the different uh, notification light colors dependent on the particular uh, application that you want it to work with. Um, volume rocker wake, as well as wake up on charge, nothing I'm particularly interested in there. Uh, jump into general. Now this, uh, it comes default set to 268 DPI, obviously stock being 320. If you do want to set it back, you can, you have that option. You can also turn on dual, um, tablet dual panel mode, so kind of splits that settings menu into two, so you have all the different settings menu options there with the sub menus on the right side of the display, which is pretty cool. Uh, we also have that, ra um, sorry, recent RAM bar, so we'll go ahead and open that up and you can see uh, the available RAM and memory and all that stuff down there at the bottom, which is great to take a look at every now and then. Uh, keyboard and input. Now, the one that really stood out to me, uh, the option that stood out to me in this particular menu is the uh, volume key cursor control. So when you're in a text message or whatever you're doing, typing out on your keyboard and you happen to make a spelling error, instead of trying to use that little cursor to go back and forth with your finger there, you can actually use your volume up and volume down rocker as your cursor control, uh, obviously dependent on the particular setup that you want. You can have the you know volume up go right or, down, or, right or left or vice versa. Versus. So that's pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool little option there, I thought. Uh, lots of different lock screen controls, um, customizations like I explained to you guys earlier. Tons of options for you to play around with in there. Uh, navigation bar, this is one thing. Now, this particular ROM does have the option to make your navigation bar, if your device has on-screen buttons like the Nexus 4, um, <clears throat> you can actually make it transparent. However, it is a known bug. I've spoken with the developers that uh, sometimes after maybe a couple of reboots, the notification, the um, transparency that you may set it to uh, reverts back to a solid color which it unfortunately happened to me uh, the status bar is something that you can also set transparent and that one for some reason hasn't gone a solid color it stayed transparent for me but the uh, the uh, navigation bar has gone back to a solid color which is really disappointing but I still like the ROM enough to keep it because it is just that stable uh, you've also got a bunch of different options in here such as what happens when you long press on buttons uh, the glow the color all those different types of features uh, moving on from there, notifications drawer this is what I was talking about before with this sort of 
option here. Again, cherry picked from Codename Android. Bunch of different uh, options in here. Uh, as well as you can change around the status bar there. You can change around the color, where you want the centering of the clock, if you want the date there or not. Um, the different icons for the battery icon. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, different battery icons, you know, the if you want the decibel level for your signal reception. All that great stuff. Uh, lots of great customization features in this ROM here. Uh, power menu. Um, I was really disappointed to see that when I do press down on the power button, I go into my reboot menu. There's no option to reboot into recovery, so you will have to do it manually. Um, that's something that's kind of been a bit, pet, a bit of a pet peeve for me. Um, nevertheless, it's, you know, I mean, how often do you really get into recovery if you find a ROM that you do like, right? Um, sound, sound panel, all these different great uh, features for you in your uh, power menu there. Uh, jump into sound here. Now, this is one that really uh, I was really loving and appreciating the safe headset volume. Now, you guys ever get into your car or you know, you plug in your headphones and you want to start cranking that volume, and it's always got that safe volume notification that pops up. You know, and you're like, dude, I'm a responsible adult. Well, at least I am some of the time. Um, you know, just let me do my thing. That's always been a real big annoyance for me, especially when I jump into my car. I plug in the auxiliary. I try and crank up the volume and bloop. Are you sure you want it to go that loud? I'm like, yes, dude, let me leave me alone. Um, well, you can turn that on or off. And I love that feature um, as well as obviously when the screen's turned off, you can use your volume control to, uh, you know, skip or uh, go back on your uh, specific tracks, which is really cool. Uh, status bar, like I said before, all the different customers customization options up there, this different, you know, icon styles and whatever, whatever it is you want to do up there. Um, widgets, view, pager, nothing I'm really interested in there. Wi-Fi, this is kind of interesting. So you've got Wi-Fi region code as well as Wi-Fi priority. Uh, so obviously if you have several different networks set up, you can, um, you know, have it prioritize the different networks based on which ones you want and which ones you don't want. Uh, cool stuff there. Now, what else is interesting is that, um, you know, once you go to their website and you download the application, obviously you're going to need an, a uh, G apps package, your Google apps package. So they've actually have the option to get a inverted black slim bean version G apps package. And as you can see here, as uh, YouTube's loading up here, it's all black, which is really cool. So kind of this white black uh, hollow UI type look to it, which I thought was really neat uh, as well as say, for instance, the play store, which is also the same type of thing. As you can see here, everything is white and black. So pretty sharp looking. I thought uh, same thing can be said for the messaging and uh, I think maybe one or two other applications at the most. So uh, pretty cool stuff there. Obviously this isn't part of the ROM. This is just a theme I downloaded. Uh, but anyways, the ROM is really, really stable. I've gotten some fantastic battery life out of it. Uh, Android 4.2.2. Great ROM, really lightweight, stable, no random reboots whatsoever. Um, and they're obviously always, always um, upgrading and improving upon it. Uh, anyways, guys, I'll be posting a link in the description below so you guys can go and check out their website check out if your device is supported by this ROM. Um, I recommend giving it a shot. I think you guys might actually like it quite a bit. I know I have. Uh, that's it for now though, guys. If you like this video, shoot me some love, please, by hitting that likes button down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one in the future. Also, if you want to follow me on Twitter and Google+, those links will be in the description below as well. That's it for now though, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.